Hello and welcome back to the weekend, if you are new to the channel please kindly subscribe. The fight to eliminate public defender Busisa Nguibana from her post is building up forward momentum. This is on the grounds that she won't recognize that she and the president have an irreconcilable circumstance. Due to the examination she performed against Siri Ramaphosa, this is the situation. She purportedly recognized an irreconcilable circumstance between Cyril Ramaphosa and the public speaker, Nasisivo Macula, over the strategy of his movement of certainty against the president. This comes after the ATM development recorded a protest claiming that the leader of South Africa isn't playing out the obligations expected of him, which was denied. Nkwibana let Ramaphosa know that he is in for a difficult stretch frame. She expressed that she won't resign because of Ramaphosa's nerve and that she expects to set a model for the future. She does this since she needs to let them know how things went when she was in her situation and certain individuals needed to get rid of her. In other news, government has reported the arrival of another $100 banknote to exchange close by different bills, as of now available for use. The declaration was made yesterday by Finance and Economic Development Minister, Professor Mthulin Cube through a statutory instrument distributed in an extraordinary government gazette to give legitimate remaining to the most noteworthy section. The minister expressed that the posterior of the note will be an impression of Great Zimbabwe Monument and a Baobab tree as well as a gold band showing the category. The front side of the note will convey the logo of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, which are three adjusting rocks, an outwardly impeded acknowledgement highlight on the left, and windowed security strip recorded RBZ with shading shift from red to green. The new note turns into the sixth bill available for use and is supposed to acquire accommodation cash. To add, averaging more than 1 million rands consistently in pay, people from South Africa's parliament are among the nation's most liberally remunerated government agents. All people from the pioneer leading group of legal administrators, including the president and his ministers, are paid a month-to-month -month wage like the yearly compensation of a full-time agent, similar to teachers or clinical chaperons. As demonstrated by cabinet specialists, following the COVID pandemic in 2020, they have forego their 33% remuneration removed that was conveyed toward the start of the lockdown in March the prior year to serve people and help all through the pandemic. Yearly additions of 3% are represented in the media for the wages and pay of parliament people, as well as ministers and people from the authority association. Regardless, on account of the of the corona contamination pandemic, a remuneration support for himself and various people from parliament was cut the prior year. Cyril Ramaphosa gets a total of 2.99 million rands each year, which changes over into a pay of 249,000 rands consistently. For need of a predominant explanation, the president should leave the social occasion with a critical outcome, making him one of the most liberally repaid presidents all in all central area of South Africa. In the United States, a yearly pay is indistinguishable from how much money obtained by the president in a loan month. Ramaphosa gets an enormous compensation, which is higher than the typical remuneration secured by the majority of specialists in South Africa consistently. Despite his tremendous compensation, the president gets different extra distinctions from the public power. Head of the United States, he gets all things considered, everything for no good reason is a part of the group that goes with the work. The uniqueness between Ramaphosa's remuneration and the most insignificant compensation extent of 3,500 rands is tremendous, so much that it is reasonable to continue to contemplate whether pay divergence can anytime be cleared out. As demonstrated by my insights and assessment, the high wages of the president and clerics add to money-related unevenness in South Africa, as the uniqueness between their remunerations and those of the most negligible specialists in the public authority is gigantic. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.